Tomorrow night, Macomb High School and South Pike will face off in one of South Mississippi's biggest rivalries. But one key piece of the Friday Night Lights experience will be missing. 16 WAPT's Kennedy Cooper has a story from Pike County. We're going to lose some revenue. This is our big, biggest moneymaker. But at the same time, I'm more so worried about the safety of everyone. The Macomb vs. South Pike High School football game will look a little different this year. The game starts at 2 p.m. this Friday and they'll play at South Pike football field, but it will be closed off to the public because of safety concerns. There has been a series of events that has happened this week um, that has put everyone on alert. Most importantly, me um, and making sure that our students are safe. South Pike Superintendent Dr. Andrew Lowry says it was a hard mutual decision to make between the districts because the Green and Gold Bowl is one of the biggest games of the season. I know it's very disheartening that we had to go to this extreme, but the most important thing to me is for our children to be able to play their game and not have to be worried about their safety. The Macomb School District releasing a statement on their Facebook page saying, quote, we have increased safety and security measures on all campuses by providing additional administrative personnel presence in order to strengthen rules, regulations, and operating procedures. Lowry says it's imperative for students to learn conflict resolution. Conflict resolution nowadays is something fatal. And so we have to talk to our children. We have to help them understand how to talk it out. Um, there are different ways to handle situations as opposed to immediately going to the extreme. The Macomb School District also stated, as we continue our safety efforts, routine and random searches are being conducted. We are also heavily monitoring campus entry and exit of all students, staff and visitors. The game will be live streamed for parents and fans to watch through K106, Enterprise Journal, and the Pike County District website. Lowry says hopefully this year will be a lesson learned for students and the fun can resume next year. In Magnolia, Kennedy Cooper 16, WAPT News.